brains. <laughs> Those fighting flora and undead dudes are added again in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare for the PC, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. New take on the popular franchise, Garden Warfare sends a lawnmower to the series' old tower defense formula and replaces it with third-person shooting instead. The result is a fresh take not just on Plants vs. Zombies gameplay, but a genre typically dominated by military-style shooters. The core gameplay is reminiscent of the multiplayer mode in Mass Effect 3, which, in the interest of full disclosure, I actually happen to be a big fan of. This is especially evident in the Garden Ops mode, which allows you to play as part of a four-man team online, or for Xbox owners, a two-player team when playing local co-op. Unfortunately, split-screen co-op is not available for other systems. In Garden Ops, you take the role of plants defending your garden from up to ten waves of attacking zombies. This includes an array of various undead foot soldiers and even bosses such as the Yeti, Gargantuar, and the Disco Zombie. Sorry Michael Jackson fans, but the thrill of zombie ain't coming back. For added variety, the game also features other multiplayer modes that can feature up to 24 total players and allows you to play as zombies as well. Team Vanquish is basically a deathmatch mode where the first team to 50 kills wins. An alternate version called Welcome Mat gives beginners a boost by making them respawn stronger after each death. Then there's Guardian and Graveyards, which has the plant team defending multiple locations while zombies try to invade them before a set time limit. Every time the zombies take a location, the timer resets to give them ample time to take the next location all the way down to the final base. A boss mode also lets you manage resources sort of like the original Plants vs. Zombies game in order to assist other players on the field. For characters, you basically get to pick from four base classes for each side. For the plants, you have the Pea Shooter, which excels at basic shooting, boss killing, and crowd control via the Chili Bean Bomb. The Chomper is weak from distance but strong from close range and prevents even foes from being revived on the spot. The Cactus excels at guard and defense and also can use a remote drone. Sunflowers are good healing and also can help take down bosses with their sunbeam. For the zombie side, the Foot Soldier is effective as an all-rounder with a one-hit kill ability by its rocket launcher and a jetpack for scaling buildings. The Engineer Zombie can stun plants, use drones, and have a bad case of plumber butt. <laughs> the Scientist Zombie can warp, heal allies, and do heavy damage up close. Meanwhile, the All-Star Zombie uses a chain gun and exploding imps, can deploy shields, and potentially one-hit kill enemies with its sprint tackle. In addition to individual upgrades, each character also has variants that can be unlocked via packs. The Cactus has a future version that uses a charging laser, for example, while the All-Star, on the other hand, has a hockey version with an ice gun. One-time use support spawns such as Bonk Choys and Conehead Zombies can be earned from packs as well. Downsides include the lack of a campaign mode, as well as limited options for local co-op play. Not only is local co-op limited to one system, you can only play one game mode with it. I understand that PopCut is a smaller studio, but if Gears of War can let you play split-screen and online at the same time, then they can hopefully add this feature as well for all modes and systems sometime in the future. Otherwise, enjoyment in this game is pretty much limited to online play. Earning coins in the game for the 20,000 or 40,000 premium character packs can take time as well and make the game feel like a repetitive grind after a while. Still, the game is a fun route for kids as well as adults looking for a different kind of shooter. It's especially enjoyable when you have a full map of zombies and plants jockeying for field supremacy. If you enjoy multiplayer shooting and don't care for a solid campaign mode, then you might find yourself pleasantly surprised with just how entertaining Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare can be.